Hello, today we are going to be going over kind of a mixed review of all of the quadratic forms. We have standard, vertex, and intercept form. Uh, so the way this is gonna work is we are going to select what type of form we would like to see, and then we need to answer the question. Uh, but we, depending on what it is asking, uh, that will help us figure out which form to choose. So a quadratic function f of x is hidden from view. You must find all intervals where f of x is positive uh, from the form of the quadratic function that you would like to see, or choose the form you would like to see in order to see, to answer the question most efficiently. All right, so if I'm looking for where this is positive, where this is positive, well, what I want to know is I want to know when does it cross the x-axis. I want to know when does it cross the x-axis. So in order to find when it crosses the x-axis, the form that is going to be most beneficial is going to be factored form. All right, and here is what we have. We have two x-intercepts. I'll do this in red. We have two x-intercepts. Our first x-intercept is negative 5. So I can go ahead and just kind of visualize a negative 5. And then our second one is negative 1. Uh, now there's two ways I could draw this problem. I could draw it kind of smiling or frowning concave up, concave down. But let's look at this negative 3, this negative 3. Um, that tells me that this is a frowning. This is concave down. So my parabola is roughly going to look like this. All right. So to answer the question, we have enough information now. Where is this positive? Where is this above the x-axis? Well, that's easy. That would be between negative 5 and 1. So that will be between negative 5 and 1. Oh, sorry, and negative 1. Oops, that would have been embarrassing. All right, so let's look at the next question. Let's look at the next one. I'll go ahead and erase this. All right, so for positive and negative, we're going to be looking at that factored form. All right, uh, next problem. All right, so this one is asking, a quadratic function is hidden from view, just like in the last one, and we want to find the maximum value, the peak. Well, in order to find the maximum value, it's first off going to be looking like this, and the maximum value is going to be this right here, and that is the vertex. So the form that's going to make the most sense here is going to be the vertex. All right, so looking at this, our vertex, uh, this tells me that we have gone left to up to, so just a general quick sketch of what this looks, left to, up to, so one, two, and then finally up to, one, two. This is concave down, meaning that it is going to be going downwards. Um, in fact, it'll be going down by two each time. Uh, so here is what this parabola looks like. So what is the maximum value? What is the highest point that it reaches? Well, the highest point that it reaches is right here. It reaches at its vertex. The highest it goes is up 2. So the maximum value that this attains is positive 2. All right, yes. All right, one more. Um, oh, I like this one. This one's an easy one. Uh, this one is asking you must find the x-intercepts. Well, that's an easy one. Our x-intercepts are going to be given by our factored form. Our factored form. Um, and for our x-intercepts, we've got two of them. We have negative 7 and positive 3. So there are two x-intercepts. Those x-intercepts are negative 7 and positive 3. Um, and I'm kind of curious, oh, and we have to write this in an ordered pair. So make sure that you look at instructions. This one does specify, make sure you write those in an ordered pair. Ordered pair. So I have negative seven and positive three. All right, so you should have enough information for this. Don't be afraid to draw a graph on that, uh, but choose the form that is going to give you that information.